But right back on day four and we are still on our series. Remember what it is? Tell me. Oh yes, Hannes, your emotions reposition your relationships. Now, so far you've gotten some information about emotions, about her nursing, remember, and about how we can reposition, alter the sequence and the flow of our relationships towards a positive and empowering outcome. And today we want to look right into emotional expressions. And this is so very important if we have to move on. Now we have understood a bit about awareness and identifying, recognizing the patterns through discernment and patterns and expressions that have come forth so far. So we want to look at how can we express our emotions in a healthy way. Now, most of what you hear about wars, about all sorts of wrong things going on in the society is lack of management of emotions. And when people are under stress, they will react in a wrong way. When people are sick, they will react in a wrong way. They are also stressed and it's affecting their emotions and mind. And so it's important to know that if we can't change the condition of what's happening, we can choose to change how we feel and how we deliver our words at that time. It's so very, very important because you will find out that people will judge you by what you, not just by what you say, but how you say it. For instance, I could, you know, say to my daughter, I love you, and I don't look it. And she knows that, and she says, Mom, you don't mean that. Of course, teenagers, they will tell you right there and then. So I need to be very much aware of how I am speaking, what I'm speaking, my emotions, are they synchronizing with my words? And that's so very, very important in our communication, which we'll go, in, uh, go into later on. But how do I express my emotions? If I most times clam up because someone said something about me, said, don't talk like that or don't say that uh, because I express my emotions at first. And this is what happens usually in a lot of relationships that they were rebuked or corrected, maybe, you know, not too nice. So they just, hmm, shock. And they're not saying how they are feeling anymore and they are not communicating and that's wrong because you're going to bottle up you're going to release when it's up to there and you can imagine the outburst and we're talking about expressing your emotions but there's how we can express emotions because other people on the other hand once they feel something they feel angry upset mm, it's out and everything from the belly and you just smell the stench. So that's not also what you want to do. You want to have a balance of where you can properly say it and the person understands you and you are also relieved. So the first thing is the choice of words and that's low emotional intensive words. And by that I mean if you said something wrong, for instance, and you want to correct it, you could say, I'm sorry if that offended you, but I only wanted to tell you how I felt about what you said or did and fill in the blanks. And that's so important. You choose the words you use. And at such point, you are managing your emotions. You're not letting it go. You're in charge. And that's important in your emotional expressions at every point in your office, at home with your children, and I know the children bit is a bit more uh, challenging and I can attest to this with three teenagers. Uh, well, one just escaped to 20 a few months ago. But I can understand when they are doing those things over and over again and they are not responding, you just want to let them know that you're just tired, you're fed up you're, and all of that. You know. But at the end of the day, what you want to be able to do is put yourself in an emotional control state where you can call them and say what you need to say and let them know how it's affecting you and most teenagers I tell you will listen when they hear you come from that point uh, my third daughter almost backs when she you're you know speaking to her or correcting her she almost says it but you one has to bring if you want her to lessen your her voice you bring it down and you also find that there's a reflection she also brings her voice down or you sit down with her and say let's talk and then she feels a little uneasy. But then at that point, you've gotten her attention. I've gotten her attention. I'm talking about my daughter now. And she is understanding where I'm coming from. 
and at that point it's easy to communicate and that brings us to the next video which will talk on communication but in expression be careful and be in control of your emotions and I love I love so much of uh, Stephen Covey's word here he said something very powerful he said between stimulus and response there's a pause and in that space lies your power so choose how you want to respond and don't overreact thank you I'll come right back to you on our fifth video now on harness your emotions reposition your relationships thank you